Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again. Okay, how about I take you guys on some stuff on background? Um, these are some backgrounds I have here. Okay, so on the norms, if you're to download background on free pick, uh, PNG item, uh, clip card, most of all the PNG websites, most of them come in landscape form. This is what I mean. This is the background I downloaded online. This is how they come they come in forms like this so you can't use a background this way in case you are designing a square flyer if you're designing it in landscape you can use this dimension for the uh, background but actually since it's a flyer square flyer or uh, the rest you just have to change this thing on your uh, preferred dimension don't just go and use it like that and uh, leave some parts to be the uh, background and some patterns because it's, it's very simple what you do is just go to crop if check the dimension if your dimension is square you square it you can take the edge part take this side or you take from the middle then you press ok then this is your background another thing if you guys notice i've not been using stuff like this you don't use background like this because it will be disordered like i do talk about other other in designs so if i'm to use a background this way my user attention will not be focused on what i want him to see first of all he will now be looking at the background how creative the background is and that is not what i want my uh, my my users or viewers the attentions to focus on so in case you want to use a background and backgrounds like this you can simply me there are a lot of magic i do to my background most of the times i just erase the color of the background erase it then you reduce the opacity always reduce the opacity of background even 20 you can just leave the opacity to 20 it's better this way the idea is just to make it not just look a uh, plain that is the idea of background is just to make your design not look plain unless it's an image or you want to you want to add an image that is representing what you are designing or that is themed to what you are designing that is when the image might be visible but if it's background like this creative background like this to just after background like this just make your design creative you don't need to make it visible 20 opacity is okay you can even use 15 so that it's just the idea is just to make it not to be plain so you change the dimension and keep and reduce the opacity very well okay so this is it then for this is for this then this one in case you need all this just i will I don't worry i'll put it in my drive so you can go there and get them in case you don't have any i will put it in my drive and put the link in the description button so you can get any so this is a rumpled image background if i'm to use this thing on a design i can't even use it this color because this color is not appealing this gray gray part of color that is not white it, it looks old so if i'm to use this on my design first of all look at what i, I won't even reduce the opacity first of all change the dimension or else you are designing a landscape flyer or you shape divided the flyer like since the shape divided this part some part is going to cover up this part that not me but since it didn't shape divide just change the dimension and crop here just change it to square dimension you can take from edge here or from air or you take from the middle and you are good relative position and this is it so for me i don't use this like this the color the gray color of this now doesn't even look modern so if you remove reduce the opacity you will still not get something nice you see what i'm getting so that is why there are a lot of manipulations i do to my background to make them suit simple look at what you do just re remove the the gray color just press this remove opacity you will see what you see what happened here you see it's now looking whitish what do you observe then you press your ok then reduce the opacity now to get something better you see i've got to something better i can even go to this reduce opacity this color eraser and still remove the color the more maybe 12 or 15 to make it more whitish okay you see my aim is not to make the unless the background it's a background like there are backgrounds like this backgrounds like this backgrounds like this 
you can just reduce the opacity a little because they don't have much distractions on them they are white in color already and the distractions is not more and there are also some backgrounds i didn't get enough i wanted to that program i really need to talk on so something like this you can just this is white already so it's not necessary you just reduce the opacity maybe 50 50 will do it's okay like this you can use it on your design then there are other things you can create background even with fades this is what i mean by fade okay, so this is what i mean by fade the edge here is not sharp it's blurry you can use it to create your own uh, preferred background just put it at the place you want you can just reduce opacity or you can even use the square type the square type is better and more professional than that of the circle we use this one that are instead of that of the circle since it's uh, it's at the bottom here if you can if there are no elements here for you to use you can still reduce more then the next is this this type of background backgrounds like this i created this background here is a gradient and something blurry it's trying to show us that something was here but we can't see it very well but the color is yellow it's nice but you have to work with colors that are usable like red and orange uh, natural colors you can see them on fruits you can see purple and uh, pink on flowers so you can use purple and pink you can use dark green and pure green okay so let me show you guys all these things i mean this is my background get gradient i use use gradient for it okay let me create one get in there okay so this is a red gradient you can just get your shadow to get my shadow I, I i will have to type get the shadow So this is a shadow and just place it here change the color So something like this is usable you can still put it somewhere here then let's try purple and pink all these things are usable background you can see i used it on my design and they came out well Put in the purple and I change this guy's color to pink. I don't have any meaningful pink here. So I will use this light pink. That's it. My distance is not looking okay. You can see it. I tried it out in this design. 
and it looks awesome. So this is it. You can try it on your design and your next project. So thanks for watching and if you've not subscribed to my channel, do so and um, practice most of these things. If you don't practice them, you still forget them. That's the key. You have a great day.